Okay, the capital of North Dakota is named after what German ruler? Hitler! Hitler. Hey, I'm still beating you, boy. I was right! Then I found out about Demoxinil, the new miracle breakthrough in hair regrowth. <gasps> For your free brochure, send $5 to Demoxinil, 485 Hair Plaza, Hair City, Utah. You know, some women find bald men quite virile. Marge, weren't you listening? This is a miracle breakthrough. Allow me to present the Demoxinil action set in its entirety. Great, great, great. How much, how much, how much? $1,000. A thousand bucks? I can't afford that. Hmm. Well, we do have a product which is more in your price range. However, I must assure you that any hair growth you experience while using it will be purely coincidental. Mm, something. Okay, the capital of North Dakota is named after what German ruler? Name someone or something after. Fraser verb. Call someone or something by the same name as. Mm, something. Hitler. Hey, I'm still beating you, boy. Beat. Verb. Number two. Defeat someone in a game or other competitive situation. Mm, something. Then I found out about the Maxinil. The new miracle breakthrough in hair regrowth. Miracle. Noun. 1.2. An exceptional product or achievement or an outstanding example of something as modifier. Origin. Middle English. Via Old French from Latin. Miraculum. Object of wonder from Mirari. To wonder. From Mirus. Wonderful. Breakthrough. Noun. Number one. A sudden, dramatic, and important discovery or development. Mm, something. For your free brochure, send five dollars to brochure. Noun. A small book or magazine containing pictures and information about a product or service. Origin. Mid-18th century from French. Literally, something stitched. Mm, something. You know, some women find bald men quite virile. Virile. Adjective number one. Of a man having strength, energy, and a strong sex drive. Origin, late 15th century. In the sense, characteristic of a man. From French or Latin. Mm, something. Allow me to present the Demoxinil action set in its entirety in its entirety phrase as a whole completely mm, something one thousand dollars a thousand bucks i can afford that buck now informer number one north american australian new zealand a dollar mm. Something. Hmm, well, we do have a product which is more in your price range. In someone's price range. Price range. Now, the highest and lowest prices recorded within a given time on a market. Of all the rip-off, screw job, chip joint, forget you, pal. Thanks for nothing. And I storm right out of there. Ha-ha, <laughs> that's telling him, Homer. No, oh, not a tartar sauce. They call this a portion. Hey, Lenny, are you going to use all of your tartar sauce? Try fish sticks. This sucks. Quick complaint of crumb, dog. Mmm, <laughs> something. Of all the rip-off, screw job, chip joint, chip joint, noun, informer. Number two, an establishment as a store, restaurant, or bar that cheats customers by charging excessive prices for shoddy goods or inferior service. Mm, something. And I stormed right out of there. Aha, uh -huh, that's telling him, Homer. Storm, verb, number one, no object, with a verb here of direction, move angrily or forcefully in a specified direction. Mm, something. Do out of tartar source. Tartar source. Mess noun. A cold sauce. Typically eaten with fish, consisting of mayonnaise, mixed with chopped onions, gherkins, and capers. Mm, something. They call this a portion. Portion. 
noun, one point to, an amount of food suitable for or served to one person. Mm, something. Dry fish sticks. This sucks. Fish stick. British. Fish finger. Noun. North American. A small abalone piece of fish fillet. Usually breaded and fried. A fish finger. Just fill out a few medical insurance forms creatively. Charge that Damoxinil stuff to the company. But it's a thousand bucks. Burns would can my butt in no time flat. Ooh, a thousand bucks. To Mr. Burns, that's one less ivory back scratcher. Yeah. Besides, you pay money into the insurance fund every week. Well, that newsletter. Exactly. Why should you get nothing while some guy who loses a finger hits the jackpot? You got me. Mmm, something. Just fill out a few medical insurance forms creatively. Fill something out. British. Fill something in. Fraser verb number one. North American. Add information to complete an official form or document. Mm, something. Charge the maximum stuff to the company. But it's a thousand bucks. Charge something to somebody or something. Charge verb 1.1. 1 .1. Charge something to. Record the cost of something as an amount payable by someone or on an account. Mm, something. Burns would can my body in no time flat. Ooh, a thousand bucks. In no time. Phrase. Very quickly or very soon. Flat. Adverb. Informer. Number two. Without any time, more or less. Exactly. Mm, something. To Mr. Burns, that's one less ivory back scratcher. Back scratcher. Noun. An implement for scratching one's back. Mm, something. Why should you get nothing while some guy who loses a finger hits the jackpot? Hit the jackpot. Phrase. Informer. Number one. Win a jackpot. Number two. Have a great or unexpected success especially in making a lot of money quickly. Mm, something. You got me. You've got me. There. Phrase. Idiom. Used to say that one doesn't have an answer, solution, etc. Uh, I'd like to charge that demoxinal stuff to my health insurance. Look, buddy, I don't know who put you up to this, but no insurance plan in this state covers something as frivolous as Demoxinil. Meet me in the alley in 15 minutes. Hey, you got rid of the sideburn. <laughs> Give me the usual. Well, just between us girls. Well, he hasn't been this frisky in years. Mmm, something. Uh, I'd like to charge that Demoxinil stuff to my health insurance. Health insurance. Noun. Mass noun. Insurance. Taken out to cover the cost of medical care. Mmm. Something. Look, buddy. I don't know who put you up to this. Put someone up to. Fraser verb. Number one. Informer. Encourage someone to do something wrong or unwise. Mmm. Something. Hey, you got rid of the sideburns. Sideburn. Noun. Usually sideburns. A strip of hair grown by a man down each side of the face in front of his ears. Origin. Late 19th century. Originally Burnside. From the name of General Burnside. Who wore sideburns. Yeah, you look like you got a tan. I know what it is. A new tie. <laughs> morons. Pathetic morons in my employ stealing my precious money. This is hopeless. None of these cretins deserves a promotion. Yeah, it's in the union contract, sir. One token promotion from within per year. Wait, who is that young go-getter? Well, it sort of looks like Homer Simpson, only more dynamic and resourceful. Mmm, something. Yeah, you look like you got a tan or something. Tan. No. Number two, a brown or darkened shade of skin developed after exposure to the sun. Mm, something. Morons, pathetic morons in my employee, stealing my precious money in someone's employee. Employee, noun, 
in singular, the state of being employed for wages or salary. Mm, something. This is hopeless. None of these cretins deserves a promotion. Cretin, noun, number one, offensive, a stupid person, used as a general term of abuse. Origin, late 18th century from French, from Swiss French, from Latin, Christianus. Here, used to mean human being, apparently as a reminder that, though deformed, Cretans were human and not beasts. Mm, something. It's in the union contract, sir. One token promotion from it in per year. Token, adjective, attributive, number one, done for the sake of appearances or as a symbolic gesture. Mm, something. Wait. Who is that young go-getter? Go-getter, noun, informer, an aggressively enterprising person. Mm, something. Only more dynamic and resourceful. Resourceful, adjective, having the ability to find quick and clever ways to overcome difficulties. An unspoiled lump of clay to mold in my own image. A new junior executive. Take three minutes to say goodbye to your former friends and report to room 503 for reassignment to a better life. Mm, something. Our new junior executive. Junior. Adjective. Number two. Low or lower in rank or status. I give great back rubs to harried executives. Here, let me show you. Oh, Marge, every woman I interview for the secretary job makes kissy faces at me. Just sit there and keep your mouth shut. Got it? Yes, Mr. Smith. He thinks he's so big. You don't belong here. Huh? You're a fraud and a phony, and it's only a matter of time until they find you out. You told me with the way you slump your shoulders, the, the way you talk into your chest, the way you smother yourself in bargain basement lime green polyester. Take a step and say it! I deserve this! Shout it! I'll need three weeks vacation and moving expenses. You got it, buddy! A man's suit should make him feel like a prince. It should cry out to the world, here I am. Don't judge me, love me. Do any of these suits do that? No. Let it all hang out. Mm, something. I give great back rubs to harried executives. Here, let me show you. Harry, verb, with object, 1.1, persistently harass. Origin, Old English, probably influenced by Old French. In the same sense. Mm, something. Oh, Marge, every woman I interview for the secretary job makes kissy faces at me. Kissy, adjective, informer, characterized by or given to kissing, armorous. Mm, something. Just sit there and keep your mouth shut. Got it? Yes, Mr. Smithers. Got it. Get. Verb. Number seven. Informer, with object, understand, an argument, or the person making it. Mm, something. He thinks he's so big. Big, adjective, 2.2, informer, holding an important position or playing an influential role. Mm, something. You are a fraud and a phony, and it's only a matter of time until they find you out. Find someone out. Fraser verb. Detect a person's immoral or offensive actions. Mm, something. The way you talk in your chest, the way you smother yourself. Smother someone in something. Smother verb. Number three. Smother someone or something in or with. Cover someone or something entirely with. Mm. Something. In bargain basement, lime green polyester. Bargain basement. North American. Adjective. British. Noun. As modifier. A store or part of a store where goods are sold cheaply. Mm, something. Let it all hang out. Hang out. Fraser verb. Number two. Protrude and hang loosely downwards. Mom and Dad have been smooching again. Gotta run, Marge. Can't be late. 
Happy anniversary, Homer. This year you have an excuse for not remembering. What with your job and... You did this? Yes, sir. I hope I didn't overstep my bounds. Proceed, Smithers. Our first issue, sir, is our low productivity and record high worker accident rate. <sighs> A round of layoffs might wake up the idiots. We could put caffeine in the water cooler. Mm, well, those are my ideas. You people don't think you regurgitate. Uh, you then, how would you improve the worker situation? Well, uh, well, well, sir, for one thing, we had a problem every Tuesday when the cafeteria would serve fish sticks. Fish sticks? What in blazes are you talking about? Mm, something. Mom and Dad have been smooching again. Smooch, verb, informer, number one, kiss and cuddle amorously. Mmm, something. This year you have an excuse for not remembering. Have an excuse for excuse, noun, number one, a reason or explanation given to justify a fault or offense. Mmm, something. A round of layoffs might wake up the idiot. A round of Round, noun, number three, each of a sequence of sessions in a process, typically characterized by development between one session and another. Mm, something. Layoff, noun, number one, a temporary or permanent discharge of a worker or workers. Mm, something. We could put caffeine in the water cooler. Well, those are my ideas. Water cooler, noun, number one, a dispenser of cool drinking water, typically used in places of work. Mm, something. You people don't think, you regurgitate. Regurgitate, verb, number two, repeat information without analyzing or comprehending it. Origin, late 16th century from medieval Latin. Regurgitat, from the verb regurgitare. From Latin, re, again, back, plus, gurges, gurgit, whirlpool. Well, sir, they cut the head off the fish and chop up the rest of the sticks and then put seasoned bread. But I know what fish sticks are! Get to the point! Well, you only get this tiny little cup of tartar sauce to dip in them, and I always run out. Three cents worth of tartar sauce could save us thousands of man hours and labor. I like the cut of your jib, Simpson. Something. And then put seasoned breadcrumbs. Seasoned. Adjective. Number one. Or food having had salt, pepper, herbs, or spices added. Origin. Middle English from Old French. From Latin. Satio. Sewing. Later. Time of sewing. From the root of serere. To sew. Mm. Something. Three cents worth of tartar sauce could save us thousands of man hours in labor. Man hour, noun. An hour regarded in terms of the amount of work that can be done by one person within this period. Mm, something. I like the cut of your jib, Simpson. The cut of someone's jib. Phrase, informer, dated. Someone's appearance or demeanor. Give me your plate. Don't crowd. Plenty for everybody. Who could ever have imagined that Simpson's sweeping reforms would pay off so quickly? You know, sir, accidents decreased by exactly the number that Simpson himself is known or suspected to have caused last month. And our output level was just as high during Simpson's last vacation. My dear, tired old Smithers, do I detect a note of jealousy? Absolutely stunning. Oh, hey, ho, men. And I happened to catch a fascinating documentary on Rummel, the Desert Fox. Now there's a man who could get things done. Towel, please, Simpson. Mm, something. Give me a plate. Don't crowd. Plenty for everybody. Crowd. Verb. Number one. Of a number of people fill a space almost completely, leaving little or no room for movement. Number two. To correct in numbers. Mm, something. Who could ever have imagined the Simpsons sweeping reforms? Sweeping. Adjective number two. Wide in range or effect. Extensive. Mm, something. My dear tired old smithers, do I detect a note of jealousy? A note of. Note. Noun. Number five. 
in singular, a particular quality or tone that reflects or expresses a mood or attitude. Mm, something. Absolutely stunning. Stunning. Adjective. Extremely impressive or attractive. Keep brain from phrasing? Now I've got you, Simpson. Between your hair care products and new wardrobe, we're not saving anything for a rainy day. And what does my little girl want? An absence of mood swings and some stability in my life. Yeah, uh, how about a pony? Okay. Mm, something. Keep brain from phrasing. Keep somebody or something from something or ing. Keep verb 3.4. Guard, protect. Mm, something. Now I've got you, Simpson. I've got you. Get, verb, number six. With object, catch or apprehend someone. Mm, something. An absence of mood swings and some stability in my life. Mood swing, noun, an abrupt and unaccountable change of mood. I want you to weave that patented Simpson magic with my executives. Uh, well, okay, what the heck? Excellent. Uh, Mr. Burns, it is my sad duty to report that one of your executives has built the company insurance plan out of a thousand dollars. What? Bless his hide the Hades! Now, go and make an example of this hooligan. Mmm, something. I want you to weave the patented Simpson magic with my executives. Weave, verb, number two, make a complex story or pattern from a number of interconnected elements. Mmm, something. Oh, well, okay. What the hey? Excellent. What the hey? Phrase, informal, North American. Used as a euphemism for what the hell. Mmm, something. Mr. Burns, it is my sad duty to report that. Report, verb, number one. Reporting verb. Give a spoken or written account of something that one has observed, heard, done, or investigated. With clothes. Mm, something. One of your executives has picked the company insurance plan out of a thousand dollars. Pick somebody or something out of. Pick verb with object number one, informer, obtain or withhold money from someone unfairly or by deceit, cheat, or defraud. Origin With the 17th century, originally used in cribbage, meaning spoil one's opponent's score. Perhaps a variant of bulk. Mm, something. What? Bless his eyes to Hades. Hide. Noun. 1.1 1 .1. Used to refer to a person's ability to withstand criticisms or insults. Number two, the life or physical well-being of a person. Mm, something. Now, go and make an example of this hooligan. Make an example of phrase, punish as a warning or deterrent to others. Carl, you gotta help me. Mr. Burns wants me to make some speech to his executives and... Oh, just thought I'd drop by to tell you that you're fired? What? Our company does not look kindly upon $1,000 worth of insurance fraud. Clean out your desk by noon, Simpson. Mr. Simpson was unaware of any impropriety. I take full responsibility. I did what I was born to do. What any good soldier would have done when a live grenade threatened his commander. I threw myself upon it and bore its terrible brunt. Oh, Mr. Simpson, did you bring an umbrella today? Don't know. Here. Yeah. Okay, 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 you're broke, you're flat broke, you don't have Carl anymore. Mmm, something. Oh, just thought I'd drop by to tell you that you're fired. What? Drop by, or so drop in. Fraser verb. Call informally and briefly as a visitor. Mmm, something. Our company doesn't look kindly upon $1,000 worth of insurance fraud. Look on. Phrase or verb. Watch without getting involved. Mm, something. Mr. Simpson was unaware of any impropriety. Impropriety. Noun. Mass noun. 
failure to observe standards of honesty or modesty, improper behavior or character. Mm, something. When a live grenade threatened this commander, a live grenade, live adjective 3.1 of containing or using undetonated explosive. Mm, something. I threw myself upon it and bore its terrible brunt. Bear something's brunt equals bear the brunt of brunt noun the worst part or chief impact of a specified action. Origin late middle English denoting a blow or an attack. Also the force or shock of something of unknown origin. Mm, something. Okay, okay, okay. You're broke. You're flat broke. You don't have a car anymore. Flat. Adverb. Number two. Informer. Completely. Absolutely. Broke. Adjective. Informer. Predicative. Having completely run out of money. Hey, what's happening, hip cats? No way! It's gotta be a fake! But I'm gonna tell you three things that are gonna haunt you for the rest of your days. You ruined your father, you crippled your family, and baldness is hereditary! It is? <laughs> oh, why don't you just call the pharmacy? Dad is taking this in a less than heroic fashion. Dear Mr. Simpson, I've taken the liberty of preparing your speech on the enclosed numbered 3x5 cards. All the big words are spelled phonetically. God bless you. What are you doing here? I just came to say goodbye to the gals in the typing pool. How do you know? Because my mother taught me never to kiss a fool. Mmm, something. Hey, what's happening, Hapcats? Hapcat, noun, informer, dated. A stylish or fashionable person, especially in the sphere of jazz or popular music. Hipster. Origin, 1930s from hap plus cat mm, something no way it's gotta be a fake no way phrase informer under no circumstances not at all mm, something but i'm gonna tell you three things that are gonna haunt you for the rest of your days haunt verb 1.3 over something unpleasant continue to affect or cause problems for origin with English in the sense frequent a place from old French of Germanic origin distantly related to home mm, something. you've ruined your father you've crippled your family cripple verb number two to deprive of capability for service or of strength efficiency or wholeness mm, something. and boldness is in hereditary it is hereditary adjective 1.2 of a characteristic or disease determined by genetic factors and therefore able to pass on from parents to their offspring or descendants mm, something. that is taking this in a less than heroic fashion take verb Number four, accept or receive someone or something. 4.11, submit to, tolerate, or endure. Mm, something. Dear Mr. Simpson, I have taken the liberty of preparing your speech. Take the liberty of, take the liberty, phrase, venture to do something without first asking permission. Mm, something. What are you doing here? I just came to say goodbye to the girls. Girl, noun, informer, North American, a girl or young woman, origin, late 18th century, representing a pronunciation. Mm, something. In the typing pool, the typing pool, pool, noun, 1.1, a group of people available for work when required or considered as a resource. And now, with some fresh insights, what are the rising young stars of our nuclear family? What in blazes? Who is that old geezer? And what has he done with Homer Simpson? Bloated inventory. Outmoded production methods. How? 
through Jiko Kunri, the Japanese art of self-management. Some nerve telling us how to run the plant. He doesn't even have hair. Inefficiently mining uranium that can be purchased quite cheaply on the foreign markets. Uh, the long-term benefits more than offsetting the one-time cost for net savings of 5,000 tubes. Something. What in blazes? Who is that old geezer? Geezer. Noun. Informer. Number two. North American informer. Derogatory. An old man. Origin. Late 19th century. Representing a direct pronunciation of earlier. Geyser. Mama. Mm, something. Bloated inventories. Outmoded production methods. Outmoded, adjective, old-fashioned. Mm, Some nerve telling us how to run the plant. He doesn't even have hair. Run. Verb number six with object. Be in charge of. Manage. Mm, More than offsetting the one-time cost for a net savings of f five thousand two. Offset. Verb. Number one, with object, counteract something by having an equal or opposite force or effect. Well, 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 a dashing young junior executive. You made a hollow mockery of our morning meeting, Simpson. I should fire you on the spot. But in my salad days, my crowning glory was a bright shock of strawberry blonde curls. Oh, I was big man on campus until my senior year. When I became as bald as a plucked chicken. You see, Simpson, I too know the sting of male pattern baldness. Now get out of here before I reconsider. Are you kidding? I'm stuck in that dead-end job again. Mm, something. Well, well, well. Our dashing young junior executive. Well, well, well. Well. Exclamation number one. Used to express a range of emotions, including surprise, anger, resignation, or relief. Dashing, adjective, number one, of a man, attractive, adventurous, and full of confidence. Mm, something. You made a hollow mockery of our morning meeting, Simpson. Hello, adjective, number two, without real significance or value. Make a mockery of, phrase, make something seem foolish or absurd. Mm, something. I should fire you on the spot. Fire, verb, number two, informer. Dismiss, an employee from a job. On the spot, phrase, number one, without any delay, immediately. Mm, something. But in my salad days, in someone's salad days, one's salad days, phrase number one, the period when one is young and inexperienced, origin late Middle English from Old French, based on Latin, sal, salt. Mm, something. My crowning glory was a bright shock of strawberry blonde curls, crowning, adjective, attributive, forming the triumphant. Culmination of an effort or endeavor. Shock. Noun. An unkempt or thick mass of hair. Origin with the 17th century. Origin. Uncertain. Denoting a breed of lap dog. The word originally denoted a dog with long shaggy hair and was then used as an adjective meaning unkempt, shaggy. The current sense dates from the early 19th century. Mm, something. You see, Simpson, I know the sting of male pattern baldness. Sting, noun, 1.4, in singular, a helpful quality or effect. Male pattern baldness, noun, the most common form of baldness in men, occurring occasionally also in women characterized by a receding hairline at the temples, followed by hair loss at the crown, and finally by the meeting of the boarding patches 
at the front and top of the head. Origin 1960s. Earliest use found in changing times. Mm, something. Are you kidding? I'm stuck in the dead end job again. Dead end. Noun. 1.2. A situation offering no prospects of progress or development as modifier. 